Hi, I'm Sean Humphreys, Golf Magazine Top 100 Teacher. You know what day it is. It's Wednesday. It's Hump Day. I've got a tip to get you through the day and through the week. We're back in studio with our winter series so that you can work indoor on your game and be ready for spring. One of the things that you can do is to get off the couch and work on your turn. I've got three exercises right here that you can do to continue maintaining your flexibility, but more importantly, getting your turn down that's gonna allow you to turn back into the ball, okay? I want you to take a six iron, seven iron, whatever club that you've got. You can even use a tour stick, what you've got here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I want you to set up to it. I want you to take your stance about width, shoulder width right here. I want you to cross your arms, and then I want you to rest the club right up on your, sh on your shoulder line here, all right? You're gonna set up to it, just like you're gonna go into your three-point stance, you're setting up to hit a golf ball. When you turn back, you're gonna take this left shoulder, which is where the grip is, and that's what you, what's important. I want you to pay close attention to the grip. As I turn my shoulders back, I want you to try to point the grip at the right foot. So you can see this grip is almost outside my right foot. If you do that, your shoulders have made a complete turn and that grip is pointing there. That's all the turn that you need there. That's one exercise that you can do there. Turn the shoulders, get the grip pointing towards the right foot. Okay, great. Now the next exercise is, which is really cool, is you're going to go ahead and grip the club, but then I want you to just take your right hand off the club and just let it rest right here on your side. The key here is you can use the left arm to control your entire movement. And what I mean by that is as the club hinges up, you can turn your shoulders and keep the hands out in front of your body. It really puts the, the pressure here on the shoulder and the pressure on your core to get the turn here. So if you'll do that a few times, you'll get some good activation, get those shoulders to turn, and get those hands in front of the body. Okay, great. Now, the next one here, which is really good because it focuses on the right shoulder as opposed to so much the left shoulder. Set up to it, put your arms across your body just like this, okay? As I turn back, I want you to push with the right hand towards your right shoulder. So the focus is on the right shoulder. So as I turn back, I'm pushing with my left hand, pushing my right shoulder back. This is gonna get the right shoulder to go, take off the pre all the pressure off the left shoulder, put the pressure on the right, and I'll turn. So as you look at it here, face forward, and I turn back, I'm pushing this shoulder back, pushing the right one back, takes the pressure off the left, and gets it, get your shoulder to turn. If you'll focus on those three moves, you'll get a better turn on your backswing, which in hand will give you a better chance to have a better backswing. If you'll work on those this winter, you'll play better golf in the spring. Give it a try, I know you'll like it. Hey, I'll see you next week.